Oh, it's a beautiful day. We are on a mission. We were selected for and gotta go out to my buddy Nuff's place and then I gotta go to the mission creator Ice House's place. So that's what we're doing today. There's what we're after. All loaded up, ready for the journey. It's free. If I have the room, why not put a cooler in there? Yeah, some yeah. It's pretty good. Kind of blows my mind. Do it again. What the heck? Fucking awesome. <laughs> That's pretty cool. what we're after in case you're wondering if a ka will fit in a 210 there it is you need a front sump pan but it does fit uh, but this is going to be an r d engine for a minute
through all three. Success. I totally forgot that my mom had given me a 4K potato. So, in the near future. 4K maybe, potato? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's a it's a GoPro knockoff, but it says 4K on it, so I'm calling it, I'm, I'm going to film some, I'm going to try to do a video, and then I'm going to put filmed in 4K potato video. Yeah. Well, YouTube's 1080, so. Yeah. I'm still gonna put filmed in 4K potato bit. Oh my god. What? Is it going on? Hey, it started in. Hey. This will be easier out of the car. Fucking squirrels. What the hell? What? How are you fucking get? Oh, did you have a starter in there? Uh, no. That's it. No starter. Oh, I'm not squirrels, mice, rats. Rats! Dot net. So this is why this car uh, it's a little smashed. Uh, we did get the door to open and close. Hey, yeah, dude, the door's open. <laughs> but uh, it's pretty hammered. Hammered. But we got a free one. Yeah, but it's not so hammered. Okay, back in its fucking restful place. I know, that's pretty good. Right in the hole. for the journey. No, there's a... Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's why it died. Right there. It's aluminum in the threads. Pulled out of the bottom of the crank. Or wherever the other part of this is. And I think that's some of it. 
Um, <laughs> and then there's the crank and the nut. No, no bueno. Yeah. You've got a tail light on it. See the headlight. the snow and oh, this yeah. thing like bruised the shit out of me I, I need I only have like this my much knees, of that man I don't know what I was hitting with my knee maybe the steering wheel probably the steering no, wheel no it's but. too small you're yeah. all yeah. totally it's for kids but it's fucking great yeah So when you line this up with the, it's more of a here, which granted there is some volume in here, but I thought if I made a slightly thicker one, maybe I could put like a... A plenum sort of. A plenum with some sort of so, air to water. A throttle body there. Yep, throttle body is supposed to go there, which I don't have that yet, but I feel like that's all later. I mean, if you're just building boost, it doesn't matter, does it? It's just all going to fill up that space and boost everything, right? But only, I would like it to cool it. If, if I have the room, why not put a cooler in there yeah, of some yeah, sort? Because yeah. I know my tan 510, I just didn't do any intercooler. I just went turbo straight into the intake because, I don't know, I was just lazy. And you could tell after you did a couple pulls, it like really slowed down because everything's just getting hot. Like uh, everything compared to my other car with the exact same motor. It was much happier. Yeah, I don't see why it wouldn't work at all. So, I just need to make a thing to do the thing. Yeah. And then well, let's get the thing out of the thing and then you can do the thing. I know, I know. I know, because that truck boogie's pretty good, but it just needs another 
I don't know, 80 horse would be great. And I looked at a bunch of demo graphs of a few guys that did that, and uh, yeah, they made some good power, just a supercharger on there. One of them was a post from, I don't know, 2005, and the dude's like, if somebody buys it this weekend, I'll sell the whole kit for a thousand bucks. I'm like, oh, miss those days. <laughs> like, oh, days. all these custom things he made. Pretty awesome. Yeah, like the days of cheap stuff is gone. Gone, dude. Nothing cheap. Nothing at all. <laughs> I can't believe you put a whole new motor in and everything. It's you could not buy another one for the same price that would have less miles. I know, right? So. And it's rad. It's like it does have a whole bunch of miles on it, but we put the miles on it, and it's like it's the devil you know. Yeah, and it's in super good shape anyway. It's not like it's some beat else clapped out. Oh, that's so looking. nice. I think I've had this a while too. Yeah, it's been all over the place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Good stuff. You still drive your G35? No. No? It's up at Dave's place in Cedar Woolley. I just don't have anywhere to park it that I can get into it and drive it every day. Yeah. It's annoying. I hear that. I never drive any of my cars. You got all yours here. Like, they're like all Perfectly lined up. Lined up. They all drive too. Well, you see, that's impressive. I'm at like probably 60% now because I took my red truck apart. I know, but I need a truck like every day at work. So I've been driving the D21 because I don't well, know. That looks like a work truck. Yeah, I don't care about it that much. And the Sunny I've driven so many years, it's like, I don't know, it's fun to drive, but work, it's like better to have one you don't care about. Yeah, especially if you're throwing shit in the back. Mm -hmm. I know, I picked that one up. It's like a twin to yours. Yeah. And then I had to lower it while it sits here, you know? You can't Yeah, you can't, you can't not. You can't just have it sitting like. Funny. And the bus, the bus is rad. Yeah, gotta have a bus. I need that. I need a lift. What? Right? Oh. So, like, if you can tap into this, I figured you could just power the, the main Ooh. harness here and let it run. There's your ground. And Maybe things would happen. <clears throat> yeah. I've honestly never looked into it. The D21 ECU. It's the same, same like three relay setup. Right? Like back in the day, dude, it was always so easy That's to get the a one. I would just do that. But nowadays, yeah, the, everything's. I mean, it was only three year run for the single cam. Yeah, not many. No so, people back yeah. in the day where it's getting heaved left and right. I mean, even the truck single cams aren't that prolific anymore. Oh, I know. It's weird to go to pick and pull now and see Getting like dual cam K's in there all the time. You're yeah. like, how is the, how the frontiers here? This is no sense. Yeah, it's that uh, 20 year old truck in your head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, I'm like, why isn't there 620s here anymore? Oh yeah, they're oh, long man. gone. I mean, those never come up on my search. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. I'll take that clutch with me. Then you'll, yeah, you gotta, you'll have you're it. You're gonna pop it off. Might as well. I'm gonna go home and have some burgers. You can film all this stuff too if you want. Cool, man. This thing's going back together again? Uh huh. Yeah, we're awesome. we want to test drive the K motor. You gonna take it to Canby? Or Powerland? <laughs> I've never even went to Powerland yet. Oh, dude, you years. should go. Always something going on, I can't go. It's, be cool. it's so much like can be, but not at the same time. It's way more laid back and mellow, and like, because like all the people who aren't affiliated oh. are not there. So it's just like they're very hanging out. Yeah, yes. and then it's their car centric people to begin with that own the facility. It's like a transportation museum. That's like, cool. Dude, just go in there 
without the Datsuns. <laughs> You're like, hell yeah. It's cool as fuck. Like, the big truck, they got semi-truck museum, but full of trucks, big warehouse, full of them. That's cool. Yeah, it's, they got a wall of crescent wrenches. Really? Yeah. That's cool too. Yeah. Fire trucks everywhere, train stuff. So it's basically all the stuff engines. we like. Yeah. Just it's yeah. I gotta go. No, you gotta go. And then you can camp on the grounds, no problem. They got R V hookups all over. It's sixty acres. Really? Yeah. Wow, that is big. Big fields. Just it's a giant field. Oh, so if they buildings. have R V hookups and stuff, people must camp there all the time then. So it's just Yeah, you can just stop and pull in and camp if you're on your way passing through or whatever. That's cool. And like twenty four yeah. hour bathrooms and everything? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, man. Showers. Go. Yeah. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> great. Yeah. And it's in July now, so it's fucking nice Actually weather. Because nice <laughs> the one year it was a swamp, and everybody was like, yeah, this was fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, yeah, this is fucked up. Let's, everybody want to have it later? Like, totally on the fly at the show. It was like, next year we're going to have it in July. Dang. That's cool. So, it's that, like, yeah. malleable. Yeah, it's still in that stage. I feel like it's not going to be for much longer, but because <laughs> now it's in July and the weather's nicer, and it's not on the same day as another big show. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to make it down. Got to do it. It's going to be good. So yeah, this is the K. K. Yeah, you can see there's a lot of room behind the uh, engine because we tried to keep the balance shafts. So we notched the cross from her as much as we could and customized the oil pan. But that's still as far back as we could get it. But if you measure like a like a KA valve cover, it comes as far forward anyways. It's just these motors are so short, it would have been nice to scoot it back. And really the problem we're having now is we gotta get our intake out of here and this radiator hose is here, which obviously we could just cut us off and move it. But we've learned from race cars that when something gets smashed, it's really Lock. customized. It's such a it's bummer to redo it again. Yeah. So we can just leave this how it came out of the box. That'd be really good. So we got a, th a 3D printed intake pipe. We're gonna see if that works. And then, yeah, it's always nice if you can mod modify hard parts and leave the box parts alone. Yeah, so hopefully we can do that. Cause we already had to notch this. Do it well that was the clear the hood, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, still and then the cross member. A big chunk out oh, of that. that's one of your nice custom ones all hacked up. <laughs> yeah. Yep, don't make those anymore and cut it up. Why don't you make them? Uh, it just got so expensive after COVID. And we're like, we could raise the prices and make more, but then Sam moved back to the East Coast and it's like, almost in my garage ship and stuff. He's kind of boring. Right. I know, he just gets sick of making it. Yeah, he like, just, I don't want to do this stuff. It just sucks if you know how to run a calculator. You want to build you race like, cars with crazy yeah. motors. And yeah, you can just run a calculator by... 240s uh, with pink engine, engine bays. This much now, I don't want to do that. I don't want to keep it in my garage. Yeah. I want to figure out a supercharger on this. Okay. What's the uh, sparkle? <laughs> um, it's just glitter off Amazon. I, put, I just mixed it into the pink paint. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> That's sweet. I'm pretty excited to drive it, but I have the ADD, so... Yeah, no, I'm with you. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, that's fun. And then parts were in the mail, like, taking too long, because I started working on something else, and uh, I went back. What's that one? That's the A-Series, standard shift pattern, five-speed. That's a rare unit. Cool. I'm about to do... I got that KA five-speed, and I got... 725 speed and another five speed and a dog leg five speed. I don't know. Go through all the differences and lengths and oh, oh that's and a, a good idea. And a six speed. So a CD009. There's so, a new one I learned is the S12 V6 five speed is shorter than 241, but longer than the D21. And it turns out it's the same as that is in the uh, the RB. The RB ran a 71C on their non-turbos like their uh, RB25s, and some of the RB20 turbos got the 71C, and it was oh. that in-between length. Weird. Which turns out fits a Z car really well, but they're hard to find, so. Yeah, kind of those like... didn't get sold a lot of those cars. No, so if you run across one of those, and then like the, the pe like they're around, but those people that have them, they're cold, dead hands. Exactly, I actually got one 
finally found an RB2071C that supposedly needs some bearings for a good deal, but I haven't opened it up, so it may be more catastrophic on the inside than, uh, <laughs> than the guy let on to, but worst case, at least I have a good bell housing. Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, pupper. Rad. Mm -hmm. Let's get there. <gasps> Because we had never done any Honda stuff before, so all this Honda, learning Honda stuff is all new. I did Honda stuff back in the old CVCC days, but that was like the three-barrel <laughs> carb, and like, it was not this, for sure. It's just weird to These figure, like, crazy. delete, pull lead, like, all the different things is like, yeah. not what I know. It's just, uh, the complexity of involved in getting it to fit in there is not something I'm interested in. So you are. I mean, you're doing a great <laughs> job. <laughs> so many things. Every single thing you're like, oh, wait, this is the last unique item I have to buy. No nope. problem. Yeah, because you everything. As I throw everything on the ground, that's all custom, right? Yeah, actually, we got that adapter. Is that the 300ZX trans? Or is that something? Uh, 240 trans. Oh. It's just late, so it's got the ABS. Not ABS, the uh, yeah, crank, crank position sensor. sensor for the later KAs. We're shooting this guy. The adapter kit's from uh, Collins, I think, is where we got that. We started making our own, but by the time you like really start digging in, it just ends up being so many custom parts. It's yeah. like not any better than just buying a kit. Crazy. <clears throat> and mainly because we wanted to keep running the 71 c since we have so many spare transmissions yeah. and drive shafts. It's like if we change that, then we're changing everything. But then it turned out we had to scoot the motor, motor forward, so we don't have a spare drive shaft anymore. We just have one. <laughs> It's the same as the ZX. Well, you can get line. another one cut and have it on hand. So That's true, it's... yeah. Or find another one. It's just cut for like a ZX transmission. That length. It's cool. Yeah. Can't wait to hear it run. It'll be fun to see this on the road again. I'm excited about trying to run a stock ECU too. Like, everywhere you look at, no one ever does it. Because why? You spend a thousand bucks, you get a tunable one. But since we're endurance racing, we want the reliability that Honda tuned into it so you're just going to run all the sensors and everything right? everything honda has so we have to do like a gas tank pressure sensor we have to do there's some other odd sensors you had to hook up the, the has an, like an electric gas pedal mm -hmm. the fly by wire whatever right, yeah. kids call it yeah yeah so we gotta hook all that up it's pretty cool yeah it was interesting in the ecu there's a an output for a motor mount uh, a vacuum actuated motor mount to help the vibrations in the uh, what are these in a TSX? So I actually had a vacuum solenoid ran off manifold pressure that would pulse into a motor mount to like counteract the dampening. Oh, wow, that's cool. <laughs> that's pretty wild. <laughs> what they very did high these. tech, huh? Yeah, especially for like 2003. So it's gonna be something. Heck yeah. 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 <laughs> my, uh, my snap on battery died, so I upgraded. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Made a little adapter. Adapted it? Is that <laughs> like 3D printed or something? I just scanned it at work Oops. <laughs> and then made this adapter. Nice. That's a B stack. They want snap on wants so much for a battery. I'm like, gotta be a rich man to afford that. Victory. Now yeah, it's gonna find some bolts. I built in there, my engine wall. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, it's the coolest thing ever. I will go see it. I saw one of the young man, and I'm like, I need one of those. And I find it. <laughs> it's so over the top, I love it. <laughs> Dude, those rails are crazy. Did you get those from work? Yeah, whenever they're damaged, they throw them away. 
I need to, but they can't sell them to like a customer, so I was like, I need a couple of those for an uh, engine tree I'm going to build. Well, keep me in mind next time when you happen to see some. <laughs> I was trying to think of good things you can use them for, but... That's a great thing. That's that, like the best thing I can come up with. That's a pretty good one. That and my, uh, my grinder tree. Your ergo grinder. That never hurts anymore. Well, you got a lift too, so that helps. <laughs> yeah, fair weather lift. There's rain on the back side <clears throat> on the dirty floor. Hi, there, old man. We like the old man's. You're going to need them if you're running them in a race car. Yeah, so I'm like 300 bucks each, it's kind of hard to say no. <laughs> yeah. So now we got a few of them. You got a supply in stock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somehow. Huh? The SR20 in there has lasted five years. That's pretty good. Dude, it blows my mind. Endurance race, you're eight hours of just wide open throttle. You know, you build, you burn like 50, 60 gallons in a day, and the motor doesn't even care. Just does it, does it. It's pretty good. Kind of blows my mind. So, but it turns out after doing this for five years, we're now like the slowest car in the straightaway because everybody just keeps upgrading. So, that's what we got the Honda motor. Well, if the Honda motor doesn't work out, you could supercharge a KA. <laughs> Yeah, the only thing we worry about is that uh, with endurance, it's like, since it has to last forever, it's like, man, uh, if, it's, yeah. if you do anything yourself, it's going to be perfect. Or well, you can, gonna burn you can like, keep the boost really low with the supercharger, though, right? Yeah. There's a couple people that have turboed cars that do pretty good. But overall, like, all the most hypo cars, like the A-Class, like, there's been a couple races where if we were in the fastest class, if we're in the slowest, if we were in the, the fastest class, but still our slow car, we would have got like fifth place because all of their cars break. Because they're all like super hot rods and like something fails on a highly <laughs> modified car. <laughs> like a buddy I used to autocross They're, they're trying to go fast, man. <laughs> oh, they're doing it. It's not for eight hours. <laughs> Like a dude I used to autocross with, he does it. Super into Lucky Dog. And uh, like those guys spend like five grand on coilovers. For a car, they just race, you know, so many times a year, but it just gets that competitive with those dudes. That's, uh, that's putting in the money, that's for sure. <laughs> We're way too cheap for that. Still have that gray one around? The gray Z? The gray Z with the stripe on it. The red right over there. Oh yeah, yeah there it is. Yeah. I was even looking at it earlier. The uh I was actually at it running earlier. I tried to start that one quite a bit. The battery doesn't like to stay charged. Oh uh, so if I don't drive it, I gotta start it once a week. Uh oh. Get over there. Maybe I should have pulled the flywheel off. But it ain't gonna turn. <laughs> well, you don't necessarily need it to turn, right? That's true.
hold. Where are they gonna go? Hopefully nowhere. Awesome, I look forward to progress. Me too. Oh yeah, that's got a big old base plate on that's there. That's what I'm saying. And like, look at the space in here. Once you get rid of this throttle body, you got like, like a foot. Yeah, where's the tape measure? <laughs> <laughs> I got a hand. Oh, you gotta show your viewers my tape measure drawer. <laughs> so they can be, they can be jealous. <laughs> oh my God, I'm always looking for a tape measure. Never can find me one, that's crazy. Check out even this one. It's vintage. Dude, that's I used to smoke those. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we did. I want to use that one. Maybe if I can figure it out. You tell him. Yeah. Almost six. Right? Take my hair away before I break it. Self locking. At the very right side, it's got a little finger clip. Ah, oh, fancy. Harbor Bridge Master in there. Very bright one. Yeah, right. Well, awesome. I can go home now. Uh huh. This is like so much stuff when it's not in the truck. Yeah, it's it's a lot. I forgot, I opened the hood, I'm like, oh yeah, all that <laughs> shit's there. <laughs> oh, yeah. like, but for your purposes, it is all there. That's awesome. you're gonna need yeah. to know where all that crap is at. Isn't there something that's normally right here? The air box goes across there and there's power steering pump that comes up here, but this didn't have power steering. They had a manual version? I didn't even know that. Yeah. Oh. It's probably got the provisions for a power steering pump so I can get one from pick and pull, right? Yeah. Like That's where I got mine for my green truck. Nice. Oh yeah. Just got some wires I gotta put in the box. Or your green truck. Our green truck. <laughs> <laughs> that truck is so awesome. It's rad. <laughs> I need to work on it some. What's broken on it? I'm just getting closer to divorced transfer case. Oh. I'm trying to eliminate all the vibrations. It's a long road. I can imagine. Okay, so keep all the parts in a nice box. Check. If you could, that would be rad. Oh. Hey, you boys, don't be chasing that cat. <laughs> it's a big old cat going to kick your butt. Uh-huh. Awesome. Hell yeah, dude. I'm so excited. It's Allen bolted together? I don't know. Really? What was your, were you just going to run the stock intake or were you going to turn it to put the car on? I was just going to throw it in something and run it, but I didn't really have a plan for this engine. Oh. I mean, I, I did, but then I got the 89. The car the one, which you're rebuilding. Stuff. Yeah, but now you have the supercharger options. So, you're I, like, mean, hmm. I don't know, I'm kind of leaning towards the <laughs> other way now. <laughs> no. So we'll figure it out. I know, man, it just looks... That car's not in a rush anyway, it's not like... It's just crazy because you look at like the... If you could line everything up, just how all the runners go to one spot going yeah, down. Yeah, no, it looks like it was made for it. Uh, I think it uh, needs that. Yeah. It does need to exist in the world, I agree. <laughs> Hell yeah. All the good stuff. Yeah, I, I never realized, but this is, it's got multipolar fuel injection, but it's got the single throttle body. Yes, yeah, so you can delete so the throttle like, body and yeah. you still have the injector, yeah. so the supercharger makes even more sense. Yeah. And they're top feed injectors, which are always cheaper, so. Oh yeah, they're inside feed. Yeah. Oh, I think it would you with that supercharger on there. Just gotta figure a couple things out. Sweet. By a couple, I mean a lot. Yeah. Yeah, look if you hold it up where that one. I think maybe you can. Isn't this pulley like multiple pieces? Like, can't you take like this piece off and then like put the other serpentine belt piece like, of this just on, on there? the front one? Yeah. So you look at you line this up. <laughs> 
like a pro. Whoa! We got our bolt. It's supposed to be holding it. <laughs> I guess it kind of is. Oh, it is. It just hasn't limited out yet. <laughs> it's just way It's going the, the other way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, if you just line that belt up, like it looks perfect. But then you got to remember that all the compression stuff's at the front. I don't think that's going to matter much. Nah, it's just you're pressurizing the whole chamber, so. Boost yeah. is boost, yeah. Mm hmm. Shh. It's going to make something sound like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make sure my dogs didn't chase that cat off into the street somewhere. Yeah, I think you can just unbolt the three little bolts and just find one piece. that goes on there. Yeah. I like that idea. And then I wonder what this normally runs. Up. Hope it AC or something. AC, I think, is the back one because I had to replace all the belts to get to that one. So it might, might be the power be, steering. Might be power steering. You can check on here. Mm -hmm. Figure out what it is and no. like, yeah. gotta have the power steering. Yeah. That's crazy. Yours didn't have power steering because that one's like the ultra base model, and it's got it. Well, I guess it also has AC, so maybe that was like one add-on to the base model this truck had roll-up window like crank window that's this one this one's a plastic everything yeah this one did you should film this thing it's such a beater but so cool at the same time oh yeah the farthest forward one is the power steering it seems like a guy could ship it back and share it with the alternator, or is that not a thing you can do? I so destroy, like you could just make a new bracket here, and then move it back. Just move it back and catch the other one? But it, there's the outlet down there for the radiator. Uh, oh yeah. How much might could you take some figuring. Oh, you got a little ways, about an inch. Well, I'll probably do it then. You'll probably move it back to the other belt. Share it with the alternator, but I'm not sure how efficient that would be. <laughs> as long as the supercharger spins, we're good. Oh, I see. That's the AC on the back one. Uh huh. Yeah. This thing is pretty clean. It's only 97,000 miles in this workhorse. It's been painted three times, but. <laughs> <laughs> and the bed's not original. The doors aren't original. Hey, we all can't be perfect. <laughs> Yeah, when I got it, the uh, AC belt was like cut. I'm like, why would they do that? I hook it off, the AC works like awesome, but the idler's just like. <laughs> so I finally replaced the idler fully. Now it's pretty quiet. Rad. It's been good. The only problem I have with it is uh, the all the water. I was having my daughter was driving it, and all the water leaked out. I'm like, where would it all go? So we fill it back up. The freeze plugs were rotted out and somebody JB welded them. <laughs> so, so the JB weld fell off. All sorts and, of lazy stuff in this one. <laughs> so then I have to pull the exhaust manifold to replace the freeze plugs. Not the end of the world. But so I do that. And while I'm filling the cap, they broke the spring out of the radiator cap so that the, it wouldn't pressurize and blow out the JB <laughs> weld. So I put a new cap on it. And, well, a new used cap. Right. And then it blows out the upper radiator hose because it hasn't had pressure in who knows how many years. <laughs> so I've been springing leaks here and there, but you know, yeah. it's been good. It's missing the intake pipe, but it actually sounds kind of cool. You get the intake sound get in the that truck. Sucking sound. <laughs> Other than that, yeah, it's like a little trooper. Mm -hmm. It's so funny though, they bust the radiator cap. I'm like, those guys are pretty smart that had this before. They don't want their JV weld flying out. <laughs> I mean, gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's kind of dented a little everywhere, but That's I actually have a, a guy I used to work with had one and he was gonna lift it, a two wheel drive, and turn into a Baja truck. But he was an engineer, so he made all his own suspensions. So I have like a whole lift kit in my tent or my shed out back. Dude. I think I should lift it, but you then should. the bigger tires you do, the harder they are to turn. So I'm like, I kind of want to just lift it and leave the little tires on. <laughs> and I have, a, he gave me all the front suspension. He bought a, steer, a rebuilt steering box for it, never even ran it, gave me that. Dang. It's like all the stuff. So I'm like, I could probably take this and just extend the front suspension a little bit and get some more travel. The yeah. truck that engine came out of was basically a beer fire, camping truck like, like beat fire road 
killer. Like it, <laughs> yeah. it was out in there. He was driving it. The transmission sounded like it had gravel in it. He was, kept driving it. You know? <laughs> Whatever, so, send it. It still shifted gears and went forward. He was like, "Fuck it." Yeah, right. Good. Yeah. Yeah. And he, he the lift kit even came with like stiffer sway bars or uh, torsion yeah. bars. You got to do it. I'm like, I should lift it, but I don't want to make it any stiffer. My buddy works in the Baja trucks, and he's like, sent me a link for like some of those like 11 inch travel box ones. Like, dude, bring it over to my house. We'll make some like hoops, and you can have more travel in the front. And I'm like, I kind of just like it because I don't care about it. If I put too much love into it, I'm right? Like yeah. About it. What, you got that? Mm -hmm. At what point does it become a nice car? <laughs> yeah. Like, uh... Yeah. Next, I'm always driving over curbs and stuff. It's like, who cares, truck? Right. And now I was driving on the freeway the other day, and the whole truck shakes. I'm like, did I mess up a tire doing that? Like, Probably. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> but that's okay. Let's put a new one on. Yeah. That's a good rig. Needs a supercharger and an LSD, and it'll be perfect. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I do have one of those electric power steering pumps. It'd be kind of fun to hook it up and just see how it feels. See if it works. And see if it's like different, like if you care or... The thing is, delete all that. Just mount that right. Look at all this room. Honestly, these things are super modular. There's like three bolts in the front, and you can bolt it anywhere you want. That's true. I guess put it where those idler is or something. Yeah, they're, they're super tiny, and then you just have to run, you know, your hose and your... Which is coming from here. So you move to this side, it's be two little short hoses. Right. Unless you really started drifting and heating And you can up. make those. I made mine for the green truck. Oh, really? Because it went to a Toyota box. I oh. cut the metal hose and no. I ended up ordering like Earl's line and doing it all in the AN fittings because uh. it's all in. I've heard of people, but doesn't it get to like a thousand PSI and it doesn't blow those apart? You just buy the right. Oh, the right Hydraulic connector. lines. And oh, stuff. and that's good? Yeah. Hey, maybe I'll do that. I'm gonna try to keep it as simple as I can on that for getting the supercharger working. And then go from there. Electric would be super easy. If you bolt it right here, just two lines. Yeah. yeah. Some electricity to it and mm -hmm. see if I like it. It'll probably suck. So I mean if you have that. one already. I know, yeah, I already got it. I had it for another project that I don't have anymore, so. Huh? There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm like a D twenty one guy now. It's a pretty good truck, ones. man. Mm -hmm. You know, I was measuring, uh, like, I, yeah. We had three people almost the other day at work, so I was measuring door panel to door panel on the D21 versus my Sunny. And it was, uh, I think it's 51 in the Sunny. Actually, I wrote it down. I gotta pull all the exact measurements so I can tell you, because it kind of blows your mind. So we go on. Well, the Nissan's cabs are bigger than the Toyota cabs. Era, really? Era per era, yeah. So I measured the D21, and it was 55.5 inches door panel to door panel. And I was wondering how much smaller it was than my Sunny. My Sunny's 49. And then I go, what about a 521? So I measured it, it's only 50. You get one more inch in a 521 <laughs> versus a Sunny. I'm like, that seems kind of like a ripoff. The truck looks, the, the 521 looks hella bigger. It does look bigger. Than a Sunny, but it's not bigger. It's because the doors bulge out like yeah, that. Yeah, it like tricks your brain. But yeah, the canopy on the 521 that looks came on, on this. <laughs> came on the D21. So I'm like, the D21 and the 521 are the same size beds, but the cabs are like way narrower. But yeah, like you're saying, the doors curve in, so you're like losing all your room Yeah. for the stylings. That's which hilarious. I, which I guess is worth it. It's a good looking Yeah, track. it's a great looking truck.